Dartmoor-based folk singer Seth Lakeman is getting ready to release his fifth album. Hearts and Minds is out on Monday and, like his other records, is inspired by the South West. Well, earlier, Seth popped into the studio to see us. Seth, it's really lovely to see you. How are you? I'm fine, absolutely fine, yeah. I'm quite busy at the moment uh, promoting a new record, but, um, yeah, I'm absolutely fine, yeah. And this is the, the fifth one. Uh, a lot of your, your past work has been influenced by this region, the scenery. How much of an influence has it had on this new one? Well, this new record, yeah, I mean, it's always influenced uh, and inspired by the people and places uh, around where I live, around Yelverton and, and Dartmoor. So um, this is no different, Hearts and Minds. It's uh, a record, really, that uh, I think represents you know, a lot of the uh, friends and, and a lot of my family. And um, I think there's, I mean, there's certain songs like uh, I wrote a song called Preacher's Ghost on this new record about a guy called Billy Bray. Um, and my granddad was the guy who actually um, inspired me to write that song. Um, it's a really spooky tale. And another song about a guy called Jan Trigeagle, Tr Tr who lived down in uh, Bodmin. So that's quite a local story again. So there's all sorts of um, West Country tales that are still existing within Hearts and Minds. So it's very important to me to live down here. Is, is this about. record as good as the others, Seth? Is it as good as the others? <laughs> <laughs> that's a difficult question for me to, to answer. But um, I, I'm very proud of it. It's... Uh, you know, it's something I've been working on now for 18 months and uh, I've got a great band behind me and, uh, you know, really strong live following. So, you know, fifth record in, I think we're just exploring different sounds um, and, you know, a different direction, I guess, musically. But, um, yeah, I feel very proud of it and I, I have to say it's the best yet, of course. <laughs> it's good to hear you talking about the South West as well and how much influence it still has on your work because as you've grown in popularity and become a a big national and international name, that there must be pressures to leave the region, be based in London or elsewhere in the world? I guess there are, yeah. I mean, I'm up and down the motorway an awful lot, um, up to London especially, when you're promoting a record like this. Um, but uh, in any way, you know, I, I, I look forward to always coming over Blackdown, coming back home, I really do. It's, uh, it's home for me and, you know, it's, it's important for me to be here, I think, because it's so artistically, it's so, so inspiring, you know. So. In that way, I don't think I'd ever move and, and live in London. Um, it's not something that appeals to me. But it's fun to go to visit. I mean, it's a mm. great place to go and, and hang out. And, you know, there's, there's some great characters up there as well and great music to, to, uh, to go and see. So, um, you know, it's a great place to go and, and go visit. Well, it's lovely to see you. You're going to play us out of the programme. What are you going to play for us this evening? I'll play you a song on the viola and uh, stomp my foot a bit. I'll play you a song called Tiny World. It's a summary song about a young couple who spend their last night together and they're sort of united in their own little world and it's, uh, I think it, it's suiting for the, the weekend, yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Thank you for coming in. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Well, as promised, we leave you now with Seth Lakeman performing Tiny World from his new album, Hearts and Minds. Yes, and just to let you know, if you want to see and hear more of this track, you can log on to our website, bbc.co.uk slash Devon. Have a good weekend. Yes, bye for now. Just see the time will keep the closest eye.